Hi, I'm Vivian Scott, author of Conflict Resolution Network for Dummies and co-creator of AnytimeSeminars.com. When it comes to consensus building, it often matters less about the idea you end up choosing than it does in how you go about choosing that idea. Some common ways that employees have observed consensus building in the workplace um, kind of re revolve around two different ways. Uh, the first one is kind of the idea of majority rules, where you throw a bunch of ideas out and everybody gets a vote and then you call that consensus and you move on. Another way is what I call the brainstorm it to death uh, idea. And uh, that is where you, know, you have one problem, but you have 57 solutions uh, that you might use. And you spend a lot of time coming up with, with those ideas. And then someone comes in and chooses one and makes, uh, makes the decision. And everyone's supposed to feel good about the consensus building that took place. And then the conflict starts. To avoid some of the problems um, that arise on the way to consensus building, think of three uh, particular areas. First, you're going to want to define the goal. Um, what is it that, that you're trying to achieve? You know, we need to brainstorm ide ideas on how to increase sales by 10%. The second thing you're going to do is define the process. In the context of this project or this task, what is consensus building really going to look like? Uh, for instance, say, hey, we're all going to break into groups. You're each going to come up with one good idea. We're going to put those up on the board. And then Betsy Big Boss will come in and choose one of them. Um, if you properly define the process of consensus building, um, you'll have fewer disappointed people uh, along the way. And then finally, you want to define for everyone, the group and individuals, the support that you expect behind the decision. So uh, everyone can start to brainstorm, this is what I can do, this is how I'll prioritize things moving forward, where does this new idea fit in, um, those kinds of things. That's a part of the conversation that, that often gets lost and can cause the most problems. And those are some of the ways that employees have observed consensus building in the workplace. I'm Vivian Scott, author of Conflict Resolution Network for Dummies and co-creator of AnytimeSeminars.com.